Hello traders, this is Hugh, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add custom indicators to your MetaTrader 4 platform when it doesn't seem possible. So what do I mean by that? Sometimes, uh, well, the traditional, in the past, the way to add indicators to your, to MetaTrader 4 was to just go into the MQL, uh, to the MetaTrader folder uh, in your Explorer and uh, open the indicators folder here and then just drop it in here. And that worked fine. But now, with newer versions, they're kind of hiding where they put that stuff. So even if you drop it into this folder, uh, when if you restart MetaTrader, it, it won't show up in your um, list of indicators. And why is that? So I don't know why they did it, but they've actually buried the, the location of the, ind the real indicators that the platform is actually using way deep in your user profile. So uh, that's not always a good thing, but... Uh, it is what it is. it is what it is. So, how do you get around that? Um, well, okay, let's take a quick step back first. First of all, I want to explain um, EX4 files and MQL4 files. Uh, there was a question about that on YouTube, so let's get into that real quick. Uh, first of all, the MQL4 MQL4 files are the source files. That's the source code that your programmer um, messes with to make the program work, or to make the indicator work, or the EA for that matter. So those are going to be files that you, you drop into your folder. Once you start um, MetaTrader 4, it'll create an EX4 file, and that's the actual executable file that has the indicator in it. And um, that's what actually works on your charts. Now, if you bought an indicator from somebody, they're usually just going to give you the EX4 file. That's fine because the source code is their property. They wrote it. They're not going to give you... Um, you know, they're not going to give you the ability to copy it, obviously. So um, that's how those two things work. So whichever one you get, you need to just drop it into the indicators folder. But this isn't the real indicators folder. Uh, so for example, I, I use Dropbox to um, back up my MetaTrader. And um, this is what the structure looks like. Uh, but dropping it into this folder isn't going to help. So what do you do? Uh, you simply go over to... MetaTrader and you open the meta editor window by clicking on this button. And this is where you can edit that MQL4 source code that I talked about. So the folders here are the real folders that MetaTrader is using to get your indicators and your EAs and all that. So just click on the plus sign over indicators and you'll see all the indicators that you currently have installed. And then just right click on this and go to open folder and this is going to give you the actual folder that MetaTrader is pulling the indicators from. As you can see, it's this big, huge, funky f file name that you know nobody's going to understand or be able to find. So uh, this is the fastest way to get there. So you just drop your files into here. You s shut down MetaTrader. You start it back up again, and voila, your your indicators are now available on your custom indicator menu. So I hope that helped. For more tutorials, visit tradingheroes.com. Thanks for watching.